Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Let me look at my calendar. It is Wednesday, it's the 13th. Um, I just have a quick word for you guys. This is not from a dream, surprisingly. This message just uh, dropped in my spirit as I'm sitting here working and reading my NIV study Bible. And what it dropped on, I wasn't even looking for this particular scripture, but the Lord still spoke to me through these scriptures. Um, and I have a word for you guys. This is not for everybody, um, but this is for those men and women that the Lord has promised uh, marriage to. Um, he's promised you marriage. Um, you know that there's a God-ordained spouse out there prepared for you, waiting in your glass case because your father has told you like you're a wife, you're a husband, but you feel like you're in a season of... Um, a wilderness season, so to speak. You feel like there's nothing happening, like you're you're walking into purpose, you're doing what God has told you to do, but there is like everybody you meet, you you go on a date with someone and they seem okay, but then they just stop talking to you. Or uh, you meet a man or a woman and um, you're, you're dating them and things are going good and they just decide, you know, you're not the person for them. And you're like, what just happened? Like, I know the Lord has promised me marriage somewhere down the line, but every time you turn around, you feel like you are hitting a brick wall and, and you know that you're, you're walking in purpose. You're doing everything that the Lord has told you to do. Okay. And it's not that he's not going to give you that husband or that wife that he's promised because he's not a God that will lie. But just like Jeremiah, and I'm going to read you guys the scriptures God gave me for this word, but just like Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 16, he tells Jeremiah, you cannot marry in this place. Okay. He tells him you cannot marry in this place. Do not marry in this place. He didn't tell Jeremiah, um, do not marry at all, or that he couldn't get married or that marriage was not in the cards for him. He said, do not marry in this place place. Okay. And for many of you guys, while you're thinking, this is for men and women, you're thinking that, you know, something must be wrong with me. I'm being rejected left and right. I can't meet a decent person. Like everybody I meet, there's something ends up wrong. Like I must be in a wilderness. And the Lord is saying, you're not in a wilderness. You're just being hidden until you're in that place that God has for you for marriage. OK, you're not be you're being rejected for purpose by these people, because this is not the place that the Lord wants you to get married in. We could only see straight ahead, but the Lord can see around the corner. He can see what's to come and he is protecting many of you from what you don't see, from the conversations that you don't hear that these certain people are having about you. So don't be so quick to meet someone and just think they're awesome and cling to them and believe that they're your God-ordained spouse when God didn't tell you that this person was your wife or your husband. God simply told you that he had a husband or a wife for you because it's not always the case when we think someone is our, our spouse that that is the case. OK, yes, he promised you marriage. God is not a God that will lie. So he has your husband and he has your wife for you. But if things just aren't adding up and you keep getting rejected, the, the relationships keep falling apart. That is the Lord telling you that your marriage is not in the current place that you're in. Just wait for me. I have you hidden. And some of you need to praise God and thank him right now that you are hidden. OK, that you are you are Esther's right now. You're you're hidden for a set purpose in a set time. And when God decides to unveil you, you'll be unveiled in the right place at the right time. And that's his divine place. That's his divine time. So this is for somebody or somebody's, um, because again, I opened my Bible and I was looking for something totally different, but I, I stopped right here on these set of verses and allowed the Lord to minister um, to me, to my spirit about this. So this is for somebody, okay? This is for somebody that feels rejected. This could be for a male or female. You feel rejected, like all of the relationships that you enter, they fall apart, but you know that you know that you know God has said that you are a wife, that you are a husband, but the stuff is not just adding up. It's not coming together for you. And God is not saying it won't come together. He's saying not in this place. 
He's saying, I can see what's about to happen. I can see what this person is really like. You only see what they are bringing to you. You only see what you see with your natural eye, okay? But the enemy is tricky. Satan does not show up looking like something that you are not attracted to. He does not show up in a red suit with a long tail and a pitchfork, okay? He shows up looking like something or someone that you are attracted to. That is your type that meets all the check boxes. But Satan can't trick God. And when we decide to partner with God, God has our backs, okay? And we have to trust him. So this message is for somebody. I'm going to read the set of scriptures that the Lord dropped in my spirit for this word because I know it's going to bless who it's for. And I'm reading from um, Jeremiah chapter 16. I'm reading from my NIV Bible. I'm going to read verses one through four. And it says, then the word of the Lord came to me. This is Jeremiah speaking. You must not marry and have sons or daughters in this place. For this is what the Lord says about the sons and daughters born in this land and the women who are their mothers and the men who are their fathers. They will die of deadly diseases. They will not be mourned or buried, but will be like dung lying on the ground. They will perish by the sword and famine and their dead bodies will become food for the birds and the wild animals. He didn't tell Jeremiah he couldn't marry at all. He said... You must not marry and have sons and daughters in this place. And he told him what was about to happen. The disease, the wars, the famine that Jeremiah could not see. But our God goes ahead of us and he sees everything. Everything. So just know that if it's not happening right now, it is for purpose. Your father can see around the corner of the street, up the block three years from now. He can see it. And if it's not happening right now at this time, it is for purpose. Thank God for his divine time, his divine plan, and his divine strategy for your life. If he's promised you a husband or a wife, he is a God that does not lie, okay? And if it's not happening right now, he is protecting you because he sees what you don't see, okay? I love you guys. I'm sure I'll be back on here because I actually grabbed my Bible to look into a different word that I was about to release to you guys, but the Lord brought me to these set of scriptures. So again, his plans are not our plans. His ways are not our ways. So this word was from for somebody or somebody's. I love y'all. Have a good Thursday, but God's got you and his promises will stand. He's not saying it never, it's never going to happen. He's just saying not in this place, okay? Because he knows what's going to happen in that place and he wants the best for you. So I love y'all. Have a good Wednesday and be blessed. Bye.